Now, uh, what, there's, oh, there's big news out of the Tweetosphere right now. Oh, yeah. Because uh, of this. this. Did you hear this? Twitter just doubled the character limit for tweets to 280. Yeah, oh, 280. Wow. No, they, they have to now. because Shakespeare so famously said, brevity is the soul of wit, but I got all these extra characters to fill. Blah, 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 blah. Hashtag, I'm really Christopher Marlowe. <laughs> and like everything else in the world, this is about money. You see, Twitter's been around for 11 years, but the company has never turned a profit. But now, that's all fixed. Because, think about it, if 140 characters earned you zero dollars, <laughs> then 280 characters will double that. <laughs> that's double. just math. Yeah. But here's the thing. <laughs> Twitter is doing a slow rollout of this new increased character limit with a select group of users and Donald Trump isn't in the test group. Oh. Oh, oh no. Oh. He on there all the no. time. No. But that's... Dang. That is a huge diss. Yeah. I mean, yeah. that's our foreign policy. That's the whole thing. <laughs> right up there on Twitter. Twitter is his whole thing. Trump and Twitter go together like Nazis and tiki torches. <laughs> <laughs> I, I personally think this is for the best. Mm. If Trump had more than 140 characters, the thing is, he could fit his whole message mm -hmm. into one tweet, and then I personally would miss the da 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 da. Those are the only parts of his tweets that aren't lies. <laughs> but there's a lot. <laughs> lies. <laughs> lies. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. But there's a lot on the president's plate right now. Uh, let's see, what's he thinking about? Trump's working on his new tax plan, uh, the crisis in Puerto Rico, the threat of nuclear war with North Korea, which is why he is staying focused on football. <laughs> Evidently, earlier this week, Trump called Dallas Cowboys owner Jerry Jones four times in one day to talk about anthem stuff. Hey, Jerry, it's Don again. So, what do you really think about the flag kneeling? Uh, 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 John Kelly just walked in. That's right, President of China, Jackie Chan. That... <laughs> that is my final offer. Take it or leave it. Yeah. Aloha! Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. I had, to, I had to read him the riot act. Trump has called on the owners to fire players that protest, and he explained why that might be harder than you think. I have so many friends that are owners, and they're in a box. I mean, I've spoken to a couple of them. They say, we are in a situation where we have to do something. I think they're afraid of their players. You want to know the truth. Yes, NFL owners are afraid of their players. You need proof? Mm. I mean, look at these owners. He is terrified. <laughs> The guy to the left of him has got on gloves. He's going to strangle him. Look, this guy's praying for his life. <laughs> Just about everyone you can think of is weighing in on the NFL debate. And yesterday, someone you would never think of did as well. 90s action star and Jean-Claude Van Damme's waterbed, Steven Seagal. <laughs> Seagal showed up on a British morning talk show to discuss the matter. I believe that everyone's entitled to their own opinion, but I don't agree that they should hold the United States of America or the world hostage by taking a venue uh, where people are tuning in to watch a football game and, you know, uh, imposing their political views. I respect the American flag, and, and I myself, uh, you know, have risked my life countless times for the American flag. Yes, risked his life countless times for the American flag. And sure, none of that was real. <laughs> but then again, neither is his hair. <laughs> you know, I think that there is more Steven Seagal could have said on this issue, and I intend to do it right now. <gasps> Get it together. Oh, snap. Whoa, wow. <laughs> <laughs> These football players have the fans under siege. They may think they're above the law, but they may soon find themselves on deadly ground. They'll find most Americans are out for justice because they're... <laughs> no. 
because they're feeling Under Siege 2, the sequel. <laughs> and if these protesters don't like this country, they can feel free to challenge me to Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Was I in that? Was I? We'll find out if I'm in that. <laughs> One thing's for sure. You mess with Steven Seagal, you're not only going straight to hell, you're going straight to DVD. <laughs> we got a great show for you tonight.